Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs, and I'm excited today. This is uh, October 13th, 2023, and this is my first tasting of Border Barricare. It's a Pond's Fig. Very pretty fig. You can see, well ripened, and that's what the exterior looks like. That's pretty. I like the way it goes from that burgundy color and transitions into purple. So this fig has been ripening in a window where we've had a lot of moisture and cooler temperatures. We're getting 40s for our lows in the evenings. So um, not what I would consider ideal ripening conditions. But I've had some figs in this rain and this cool weather that are terrible, um, such as Zafiro. It just doesn't handle the moisture at all. And then I've had other figs like uh, Col de Dama Gigantina that tasted absolutely perfect. So I have no idea what to expect right now other than the unexpected. Nice looking fig. Okay, I'm trying to get the sun on it. There we go. Get the morning sun coming in. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. Let's give it a try. Okay, light sweetness, which might be a fact that it's been ripening in the cooler temperatures uh, with a lot of rain. Nice, uh, berry. It's difficult to pick one berry out. Maybe like a, a berry with a pomegranate flavor. So I'm guessing that this isn't the typical profile of this fig. People are raving about how great this fig is. And for me, this fig is, uh, it's okay. It's nothing I would rave about at this point, but it's the first fig so we'll see where it goes from here. Border Barricare from Ponds. Gorgeous, but uh, it needs more sugar for me. You know me, I like my sugary figs. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you on the next one. I've got a couple of cool ones I'm gonna taste today for the first time as well. Hopefully they do a little bit better than Borda. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.